have already learnt WH words and we know that the WH words that are used to form interrogative sentences or questions are called interrogatives. The type of question to be asked determines the interrogative that will be used. Now let us read the sentences given here. What plans do you have for the evening? What is the plan for the evening? Now both the sentences here have used the WH word what. But the usage is different. Let us see how. When I say what plans do you have for the evening, what is modifying the noun plans and it is asking a question. So it is an adjective here. But when I say what is the plan for the evening, what is referring to the noun plan and it is helping us to ask a question. So what here has been used as a pronoun. So we can say that WH words can be used as different parts of speech. Now let us see this in detail. If I say which project are you working on now? So in this sentence which describes the noun project, it is a WH word which is helping us to ask a question. So which here has been used as an interrogative adjective? If I say when will they arrive? Then the WH word when modifies the verb arrive. It is helping us to ask a question about the time of arrival. Hence, it has been used as an interrogative adverb of time. Now, if I say who will be a new teacher? Now, in this sentence, who refers to a noun teacher? And it is helping us to ask a question. So who here has been used as an interrogative pronoun? Now that we know that WH words can be used as different parts of speech, let us do this exercise. Identify the parts of speech of the interrogatives. How does this machine work? How far is it to the station? Now both the sentences here have used the WH word how, but what is the difference in the usage? Let us see. In the first sentence, how does this machine work? How modifies the verb work, hence it is an adverb, but it is helping us to ask a question. It is asking about the manner. Now in the second sentence, how far is it to the station? How? is modifying the adjective far. Now here also it has been used as an adverb but in this case the adverb is specifying or asking about a degree how far is it to the station. So in the first sentence how has been used as an interrogative adverb of manner. In the second sentence how has been used as an interrogative adverb of degree. What about these two sentences? Which bus will go to the station? Which was your favorite subject in school? Now in the first sentence which modifies the noun bus so it has been used as an adjective and here this adjective is helping us to ask a question. In the second sentence which was your favorite subject in school? which refers to the noun subject. So here it has been used as a pronoun and this pronoun is helping us to ask a question. So in the first sentence which has been used as an interrogative adjective and in the second sentence which has been used as an interrogative pronoun. Now let us read the two sentences given here. When will you return? I was studying when he called. Now in both these sentences, we have used the WH word when. 
but the usage is different. Let us see how. When I say when will you return, then when asks a question and here it has been used as an interrogative. But when I say I was studying, when he called, then when here does not ask a question. It joins two clauses or two sentences or two ideas. I was studying, he called. So in the second sentence, when has been used as a conjunction. So what do we learn from this? We learn that WH words need not be used as interrogatives only. So if I have a sentence as what a suggestion, then here what is not helping us to ask a question. It is modifying the noun suggestion and it is helping us to show an exclamation or a strong feeling. So what here has been used as an exclamatory adjective. If I say how clever you are, then in this sentence how modifies an adjective, clever. So here it is not asking a question but it is helping us to show a strong emotion or an exclamation. Hence here how has been used as an exclamatory adverb. So let us do this exercise now. Choose the sentence where the WH word is not an interrogative. What a beautiful poetry. What is your opinion on this matter? Now both the sentences here have used the WH word what. In the first sentence, what a beautiful poetry. Is it helping us to ask a question? No, it is not asking any question. In the second sentence, what is your opinion on this matter? What is helping us to ask a question? So which sentence here does not have an interrogative? The first sentence, what a beautiful poetry. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned that WH words can be used as different parts of speech. They can be used as adjectives, adverbs, pronouns or conjunctions. And remember that WH words need not be used as interrogatives only. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.